Hey guys, it's Joseph here again, back on Joe Stuff. And today I'm going to be showing you this. The LEGO Digital Designer, or LDD for short. I'm going to be showing you just the normal, uh, older Digital Designer. In case you don't know, the LEGO Digital Designer is a CAD software for making LEGO stuff with. It has lots and lots of pieces, almost all the pieces that LEGO makes. Or this is, this is a little bit of an outdated program, so... It, it's going to be a um, bit older, but you can still make really cool stuff with it and without using any real bricks at all, and you can use as many bricks as you can possibly get into your scene. So we'll go ahead down here and click Free Build. And as you can see, we have the, if you right-click and drag, you can spin around this little kind of transparent floor thing. And you can also use the navigation tools around here to spin. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Or you can use this right here to zoom around. Or you can, and you can also click this little circular shapey thing and hit that and it'll zoom in on everything in your scene, which is just to kind of reset the camera view. There's a number of tools up here at the top, which I'll be showing you each one as we go along. So over here on the side is where you have all your bricks. You can also drag this in and out to how you like it. And if you click on these, then it expands it. And you've got all these bricks. You click on a brick, select it, and then it comes out in the scene and it drags around with your mouse. And then if you click on the arrow keys, it spins the block around like that to how you need it. And then you click to set it. And if you hover over, you can see there's like this little purple pink box around it. And if you click, it turns white. And it's selected, it tells you what the what the brick is down here so you can see what just the official name of it and now from here you can click delete if you want to or you can click this button up here but you can also select the delete tool and just go around and so first of all i'm going to go and grab a brick here and another brick here and you can go ahead and get the delete tool and click and click and click and just get rid of as many as you need to right there of course the selection tool is just to select things with you can click on it and select it but there's a few other cool selection tools, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag out a bunch of random bricks here, different colors. And go ahead down, and you can click on the multiple selection tool. So you have it, the selection tool selected, and then you go down here and, and click on multiple selection tool. That opens up the multiple selection tool, where you can click and then click on another piece, and keep clicking and selecting a bunch of pieces. Like that. Next one is the connected selection. So if I go and grab a brick and stick it on top like that, as you can see, it turns yellow when you're sticking it. If I get the connected selection, it'll select all the bricks connected to that brick to just uh, that are all connected together. Next, there's the color selection. So you can select it and it'll select all the pieces of that color. So if I go here and press copy and paste and make another one, then I can grab the color selection and click it and it'll select both because they're both the same color. Now you can also select the shape selection tool, which will select every piece of the shape in, of that shape in your scene. If I click on that, of course, it lights up all of these because these are all one by two bricks. And then here's the color and shape. So it does it by color and shape. So if I click on this, it does both of those. But if I were to get this piece and get the color and shape, it would only do these ones because they're those are the only ones that are that shape and that color. And then there's also invert selection, so it'll take all the select. if you click on this, it'll take everything that's selected and unselected, and take everything that's selected and sl unselected and selected, so do that, and it inverts it. The only two I had selected are now not, or they de deselected that. Next, there's the clone tool up here. You can also press C to access that quickly. If you click, then it just starts making them out, making bunches and like that. That's about all that does, but I usually use the control C. I usually just go select and hit control C, control V when I make another brick. That's usually what I just do. Then next there's the hinge selection. There's like the it's not a selection tool, it's the hinge tool. And that's for hinging pieces like like um different pieces that have clips and bars on them that can slot together to make hinges with. So if I take this piece and this piece, as you can see, I can just stick them together like that. And you can also right-click on bricks to center on them, and so you can zoom in better. 
So as you can see, they're put together, but how do you, but so, supposing you want to make this thing swivel up. Well, you just go up here to the hinge tool, and then click on that, and these arrows come up around it, and this thing comes up in the top. And so you can grab these arrows and actually hinge them around, or you can grab this thing and hinge it around too. Like that. You can also click on these pieces around here to go straight to the those different angles. Some angles you can't do, like if I click up here, nothing happens because it can't go through the floor like that. You can also put in a custom number up here in the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick it so it's straight up and down like that. Now there's also the hinge alignment tool, so if I take this thing off and put it to the side, and then take the hinge align tool, I can actually see the little arrows come up around it like this, and I can click on that, and then I can go down here, this one, whoops, click on that, and what's supposed to happen is you would align the tools using this. I have not been able to find out this thing where it is very useful though. So next is the flex tool, and if I just go and get something that is flexible, you can actually flex it around into different shapes. So if I, for instance, go inside here, there's a lot of flexible stuff inside of here. Then I can grab a chain. Now if you notice here, then there's little icons next to the things that can flex using the flex tool. So I've got this short chain, and I can click on the flex tool, and if I click, if I click and drag, it actually bends it around to sh into different shapes. You can see this even better with a longer chain, which I could get, but you could see it even better with even a longer thing like this. I can grab this using the flex tool and flex it around into different shapes, which is really cool. So if you need to put it into a certain shape like this, then you can just do that. So that's pretty cool. I don't use that very often either because I don't usually use flexible parts, but it is very useful because there's no other way of doing that, of course. Next is the hide tool. It, when you click on things, it looks like it deletes them, but it actually doesn't delete them at all. They're still there. If you go up here to the show all hidden bricks and click it, then it'll show those back up again. So it's like it deletes them, but you can get them back. So if something's in the way and you have to see what's going on in there, then you can just hide a bunch of bricks and then you can go and get them back again. And you already saw the delete tool. Next, there's the view mode over here. You, if you click on that, then it opens up a view. Now, of course, these are just little bricks that don't make up anything, so it's not very exciting. But And then if you go up here to change background, you can change it and change it and change it and change it around. Now, I'm going to show you another really cool feature. I'm just going to do not save that. And this is a model that I actually made in here from instructions. It's a Y-Wing Starfighter from Star Wars. And if I go to the view mode, of course it opens it up, but they also have a cool space one that you can do. And the controls are all the same inside of here. You can right click on bricks to zoom in on them and look around in the same way. You can't build things, of course, while you're in view mode. But a really cool thing with this program is that you can actually explode your model apart. So up here in the corner, there's a little, there's a little thing that's explode the model right here. You can also press control U, but if I click on that, boom. The entire model just blows into pieces. That is really cool. I didn't think they needed to put that into the program, but I'm really glad they did because it's great. And then it all comes back together. You can watch it all go back together again. Like that. And then up in the corner, there's also a screenshot, which is also Control-K to take a screenshot of it. So I could get explode the model and then take a screenshot right there and then hit save. So then I would have a screenshot saved of the moment it explodes. And you can still zoom out and pan around like this while you're watching it go back together. One cool thing that I like to do with starfighters and stuff like this that have cockpit things, you right click on that piece and then zoom in and it looks like you're actually inside of it. As you can see, it's like you're inside of this Y-Wing right here. I just thought I would tell you about it because it's really cool if you ever wanted to try that. And then you can hit explode and kaboom, everything is flying away. So, that's the basics of how to use this, and but there is one more thing, and that is building guide mode. That's making instructions. So, mine loaded quickly because I've already made instructions for it and it loaded it immediately. But you just go over here to the building guide mode. So, right here, as you can see, it opened up this blue screen thing. And if I click this button up here, to, and it says next brick there, then it adds a brick. 
and it actually keeps on adding bricks, and it's actually a building guide, so it is not the best building guide, like, it's it's computer generated, so as you can see, it's like putting pieces in random locations like this, but it definitely can help. So, and then there's also a replay brick, and then previous brick. Like that. But, it goes through, it says how many steps there are, and each step is shown by how many, by what pieces there is right here. So it keeps adding pieces until you're finished with it, and um, and you can also you can save this so you can generate HTML building guide, so you can generate a a uh, building thing, and you can also still look around at the model and right click on things and zoom into them and all that. So back over in view mode here. So that is just about all about how to use LDD Digital Lego Designer. I hope this helped if you were wondering what to do, or if you were wondering if there were any things like, anything like a CAD program for making LEGO stuff. This has been very cool, I've made a lot of models before, using instructions actually, even though that's not really the way it's supposed to be used. So I hope this helped you guys, and so this was a short video, so I'll be getting to work on another one probably tomorrow.